Hi, this is Jeff from Obedia, and today I'm going to talk about the new Chord Pads feature in Cubase Pro 8. Really cool feature, very useful composition tool that lets you experiment with chords freely, even if you're not a keyboard player. So let's go ahead and check it out. First of all, to get to this function, you need to go up to the Project dropdown. Then you're going to choose Chord Pads. And now you have this section that comes up at the bottom of the screen with a piano roll and some keys lit up. These keys are the actual keys that play the pads and the green ones are various control keys. So first of all, let's just take a listen to what this sounds like. And this is just from clicking on the mouse. I'll play with the keyboard in just a second. With chord pads, I was able to just play a standard jazz progression and it didn't sound half bad. Now, if I was actually playing that with a keyboard, it might sound better, so let's give that a try. So that didn't come out too bad. Remember, I'm actually not a keyboard player. So chord pads enable someone like me, a guitarist or a vocalist or any other non-piano playing instrumentalist, a chance to play some cool chord progressions without having to know how to do all the voicings on the piano. However, it is a great learning tool as well if you're trying to learn the piano and learn about chords. Let's try another example, maybe a little bit more non-traditional. Cool, so I'd like to do one more example before we get into some of the controls. This is a synth pad that I'm gonna be messing with so you can kind of hear how it affects different categories of sounds. Cool, so now let's dive into some of the controls that you have access to. First of all, we have the voicing. So if I play this chord here. You can see the notes actually moving up the scale into different chord voicings. As well, you have these buttons here called tensions, which are the same thing as adding upper extensions to the chord. You can see it's a very powerful and easy way to change your chord types to fit whatever material you're using. So that's voicing tensions. And then we have over here, the editor that lets you just create whichever specific chord you want from scratch using the selections here. Now going over to the side here, we have some buttons that are useful to know about. We have show hide settings. This lets you manipulate the material that you're using in different ways, including the player settings, pad layout, and remote control. And the next control is the show hide chord assistant. This is a really useful aspect of chord pads because it allows you to see chords that are closest to the main key that you're in. In this case, it's the key of C. And you could just simply drag and drop them onto a pad. And now I've got that chord. Maybe I want something a little different. And we have chord pads presets as well. As you can see, there's all kinds of different presets uh, to use as starting points. And finally, we've got the functions menu, which gives you various parameters to control, including voicing indicators, assigning pads from your chord track, making playback snap to the musical grid, transposing all pads simultaneously up or down, lock and unlock pads, as well as unassign all pads at once. So really cool new feature in Cubase Pro 8. I suggest anyone who's using this program for composition to check it out right away. It'll definitely enhance your creative process. So this is Jeff from Obedia. Thanks for stopping by. Mm -hmm.